Hey, 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 it's a new week, and you know, this is not your regular kind of podcast. This is Science No Day Ground, and as usual, I am your chauffeur, MC Haymaker. I take you through various topics, and this week, we are doing something many have been expecting us to do, or have been expecting me to do an angle. You know, some of the questions that came when we started uh, Science No Day Ground was, are you going to go into this angle? I said, no. Uh, let's see. Let's see how it goes. But today, let's see. We are entering into a new angle. Yes, we are going to the area of relationships. Relationship, no one no sense them. It is too much. So today, we decided to take a little dive into it. Not so deep, not so shallow, in between. <laughs> Stay glued. Okay, so what is this thing that is different from everything that we've been doing in the previous weeks? Well, <laughs> as I said, we are entering into the area of relationships. You know, the issue of love is a very complex issue. Many have tried to explain, many have tried to, you know, to delve into it and break it down to pieces to understand this philosophy. Oh, Lord. I mean, the spirit. <laughs> ha! Well... So today, my issue is that when you find that damsel in distress, you find that person that catches your eye, when you find that person that you finally want, you know, roll with, alright, most possibly the one that you want to call your bone, okay, your bone in bone, or the dump room, dump room. Uh-huh. that's it, the, the, the very one that you want to choose, guys. This is to you, okay, ladies. I'll come to you as well. When you find that person, right, that your heart beats for, how do you propose to such a person? How do you give your vibes to such a person? How do you, you know, do the thing, do the do to finally get the yes before you know go see the parents and all? Okay, how do you do that? My question is. Between these two mediums, doing it in person, you know, getting the person to a nice place or getting the person behind some uncompleted building, being in Arsenal, uh and giving the vibes in person, one on one, okay, back to back like that. Iggy key words, no, 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 and the steady words, no, yeah, you understand the thing yourself, uh huh. Doing it that way, as against, you know, Taking your time, planning your thing, and then taking your phone, calling. Oh, hello, how are you doing? Giving the vibes that way over the phone or chatting the person you know, to tell the person how you feel. Between these two mediums, which one works best? Okay, so today we are going to you know, look at the pros and cons of these two angles. Which one is okay? You know, each person reacts to different issues differently. Okay, so we are going to look at these two things. Not everybody likes it in person. Not everybody likes it over the phone. Even the ladies themselves have their opinion about this thing. Alright, so that's what we are going to do today. That's what I'm doing today. This is the angle we are entering. Relationship and love is very complex. Now, let's go. Case number 101. Okay. So now between these two mediums, all right, the first one we are talking about is when it in person vis-a-vis eye to eye. That is why sometimes, you know, even in that moment, you might have planned your issue, you might have planned your vibes, you know, that I want to tell her this, I want to tell her that, I want to tell her this. But in that very moment, okay. You can capitalize on the situation. You can capitalize on the environment to get new vibes to the person. You know, sometimes you look at what the person is wearing, you get it in there. And if you're fortunate enough to have that poetic instinct, oh Lord, echo school, no, we'll see your poems and say, if she and yeah, yeah, yes, with your artistic nature is there, then you are fortunate. No, uh, I've been also champions, no, they are not artistic, they are not poetic, but I ha, believe you me, they have the vibes when it comes to these things, okay? So, if you are doing it in person, your 
main advantage is that you can capitalize on the situation. You can use different things to say, like, to express yourself in, in, in the most basic way, to express yourself for the person to know how much you feel, okay, or how much you want that relationship to start, or how much you want that relationship to to be cool, or to go, okay. So, that is your main advantage when it comes to doing it in person. But if you are the kind that is shy, then this might not be the option for you. Because you are sure to mess up. And one of the worst things that can happen to a man is when you mess up whilst throwing your shot. Yes, or shooting your shot. That is one of the worst experiences you can have as a man, as a full-grown man. And it's one of the worst things that you can ever, ever experience. So guys, watch out. Afawa, afaw, yawa, I don't, I don't cry. Okay, now let's look at it the other way. Okay, doing it over the phone. What is the advantage? The advantage here is that, just like I said, if you are shy, this is an advantage for you you know some people do well behind the scenes than in front of the scenes okay not all of us are born to stand and face the bullet no 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 some of us are born to stay behind the curtains and give directions that is our test okay so in your case as a guy you might not be that okay with doing it in person even though when you do it on the phone you have to roll out to the person you know, you have to meet the person, but umpa na can we, okay? Umpa na idane I can we. So if you are shy, then your best option is doing it over the phone, okay? Or most probably via chat. All right, but the disadvantage you have with the chat is that sometimes you are not able to read meanings into the text, or you are not able to understand the emotions behind the text the person could be lying giving you the smiley faces and all but still are fake vibes but if you are doing it over the phone at least you can tell the tonation you can tell how the person is feeling when it comes to the things you are telling her okay so that is one aspect of the whole thing and then also one advantage you have is that when you do it over the phone either by text or in person nase or bouncer when you are rejected, oh, it is a very uncomfortable situation. Eh, and the bounce up when eh, ay 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 pal ay ay. So ladies, please don't just be bouncing like that. We are humans, uh, irrespective of the fact that very soon so still you bounce in the pain. Okay, so if you are bounced, the the best medium. For you is over the phone that way you don't really and yeah you can see uh-huh. but in person and you are bounced oh it is quite an uncomfortable situation sometimes you don't know how to exit the you film that no you don't know how to exit in that in that moment how to say okay you fine but we did I did give you anything or see you know what cut it off you, you don't know how to exit in that particular moment and that is a difficult way for all you know in that particular moment the person might not be into you so how you choose to exit is another big issue especially when you are doing it in person all right and ladies how do you want it you know sometimes when the guy comes and do it in person some ladies believe yes that is man enough you are man enough to come and do it in person all right, some do prefer you do it on the phone for them over chat because they are shy themselves. If you come to them vis a vis, uh, it might you know disrupt their decision making. So, guys, <laughs> it is very complex, like I said from the beginning, doing it in person as against doing it on the phone or chat. These are the pros and cons. It's up to you to decide when you find that damsel in distress that you want to really rescue, want to be that superhero. Mm. BG. But the most important thing, get your vibes intact. That's it for this week. Let me know what you think. It's MC Himika on all social media platforms. 
Ein guter Sein. See ya.